Creative 2.0 is finally here and boy do I have to say this is going to change the world forever not just for gaming and here's why this is the power of Unreal Engine 5 and mind you this is all on low settings I will go back later and do it on high settings but just to show you this is on low settings and it still looks phenomenal. I forgot to change my settings uh, prior, so. But this is this is just absolutely amazing. And the cool part is, is even when even when downtime goes on, you can still like build your maps on the unreal engine 5 the only thing you can't do though is play test it I mean, this is like an entire like MMO type of game, kind of Elder Ringy, if you will, with boss fights and everything else. insane how well this uh this looks for it being fortnite it's just it's crazy but now let me relaunch and show this with like the full epic settings that it deserves because low settings you're really not going to be able to you know really appreciate what the unreal engine can do okay all right, I have everything, including ray tracing, turned on. Everything's epic. So let's go ahead and launch this up one more time. I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of what Unreal Engine can do before I just like absolutely blow your mind with the power of the Unreal Engine. In the wrong hands, this could be a very deadly tool. Now this looks 10 times better. I mean, it doesn't even look like Fortnite. And ray tracing is really killing my FPS. Ooh, that wasn't there originally. Oh, you can actually go down here too. Oh, he moves. I mean, just look at that detail. What is this? All right, let's go kill the boss. I don't know if you guys can see that up at the top, but I have 40 FPS right now. It's like I'm playing on a Nintendo Switch. And in proper Skyrim fashion, we are a sneaking archer right now.
It's just absolutely epic. No pun intended. I'm, I'm just absolutely mind blown by the detail that's put into this. It's just crazy. But that is that. But I know what you guys are thinking. Maybe, you know, maybe you're not a fantasy, you know, RPG type person. Maybe you like more of the Call of Duty style of things, right? Well, that's okay, because Unreal Engine has you. We have pretty much Warzone inside of Fortnite. Fortnite is absolutely on top of, of the charts right now. I mean, the, there's nothing that can beat Fortnite, because whatever anybody can create outside of Fortnite, Fortnite can make inside of Fortnite. Might have to see if I can try to make some Overwatch maps or something. I mean, we got bows, we got swords, we've got shields. I mean, that's Ryan, Genji, and Hanzo right there. I mean, we got a six shooter, that's Cass. We got rail guns, that's Sojourn. I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we could have the entire roster somehow. Even though there has been a bug with, um, with this one, where people's been getting stuck in the loading screens. I don't know if they fixed that yet. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think about the Unreal Engine 5 and, you know, UEFN, all that good stuff. Creative 2.0, Unreal Engine 5, whatever. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so that way you don't miss an upload. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.